Lubeck is a tiny nation that starts in the second largest power block in Victoria 3 and they get annexed by Prussia 100% of the time. But I figured, what if we could infiltrate the block from the inside? What if we made this tiny little nation into a utopia so economically dominant that Prussia has to bow to us, all without taking any provinces whatsoever? Can we play tall in order to take over our power block? Well, I think that's something we should find now. Okay, so starting out with a GDP of 10. 10,000, but <laughs> basically 10. My god, Prussia has 10 million uh, for context. Does that make us... It makes us one of the poorest nations over here with our... Oh, no, 11k. We are not by 10%. Here's the plan. This whole power block thing, we can, within our power block, as we're a trade league, go up to Mr. Prussia and request market control. Right now, he wouldn't accept, obviously. But I'm thinking if I can build up enough economically and just develop the hell out of Lubeck, we import a bunch of people from from Germany, from Germany, like as in import, as in, as in people turn up of their own volition, we encourage immigration into Lubeck, even though we don't have any goods. <laughs> and we make everyone dependent on us. That's the plan. Then we outgrow Prussia. I think it's time for the Hansen to return. I, I think this could go well. I don't know if this is... I don't know if it will, but I, that's, that's the aim. We're already losing money. Now, how would I do this? Let me show around our power block first. So the Zvolarain, we're a trade league, which is nice. We get police coordination, so that's cool. Uh, and we get internal trade, which is kind of the, the key one here. So 10% company throughput bonus, as well as 20 convoys, which is good because, well, we have a port. That's the only thing we have going for us, really. So, my initial thoughts are that let's get our education up as high as possible and get the literacy up and then get as much innovation as possible. Then we'll have a highly educated populace race through the innovation tree, uh, a race through the technology tree and just go from there. That's, that's, that's my only real, like, idea. So, weirdly enough, we're going to go for dialectics first and bump up this already. To start with, we have already got pretty decent ideas. We have voting, we have presidential republic. I, I, yeah, our politics is fine. Probably the whole blue guardianship of women thing. But aside from that, our politics is fine. We have an unacceptable government. <laughs> right, let's do that. Free trade. Interventionism works for now. Let me start making our way to migration. So right now we have migration controls. So, which means we can get Germans and Catholic and, and Protestants, I think? I'm not sure. But over here, we need the industrialists to like us more. Which means we need to start getting rid of our discrimination. Alright, let's give it a shot. Okay, so no one works anywhere. They just work in manor houses. So we are going to start with some furniture. That's the plan. Drop military wages, because we don't need them. And we're immediately lost a lot of money and are going bankrupt. How? All right, let's do a consumption tax on liquor, I guess. This is, this is, we're already going bankrupt. From what? We don't have any building. Like, the port? Oh, this is going to be rough. Have to increase taxes just to survive here. There we go. Population of 91,000 now ticking up, thanks to greener grass. And we have furniture manufacturing. We've got no one to, you know, work in them, but they're there. Oh, 50 guys are turn up for work. And money is actually flowing into our coffers. This is fantastic. I don't even have any farms. <laughs> it's just all subsistence. Okay. It's some paper are the ones that we need to do. Or we could hyper-specialize. I kind of think paper is a good idea. So we're going to go for paper and furniture at the start. Because those are things that we can advance later with tech. Look at that. We almost 10 x our GDP. It's fantastic. I think we could drop our taxes now. Nice. I'm going to get rid of this consumption tax on liquor so the people can drink. There we go. More education. And now we go for machine tools. Because that is going to get up a sulfite popping in uh, in our uh, paper mill. And it is also going to help a lot with our machine tool side of things. This is good. This is smart. Smart. Drop our taxes down to nothing. And we got culture exclusion on like 20%. This is good stuff. So I want public schools, which means we need to split off church and state, which is going to be rough. 
But the nice thing is, people who oppose us, like the evangelical church, will get wiped out by the uh, by the Prussians. At least they should do. Dude, our pop is actually skyrocketing. Police coordination two. Useless. We don't have any police. All right, people starting to work at the at the paper mills. So how much is Prussia on now? 11 million. So they've gone up 10% whilst we have gone up, what? A thousand? No, is it is it a thousand percent? Yeah, a thousand percent. So by my maths, in two years, we will be worth more than every other nation on the planet combined. I'm surprised they're not sort of rising up here. I kind of banked on that. Industrial boom. Absolutely. Fantastic. The League of Preferential States. It's France and Tahiti. <laughs> okay. Sure. We have the workers here now. You lot are making money. Let's get another one of these furniture manufacturers. I think it's the it's the it's the number one. This is the best furniture manufacturer in the world. Population is really just damn. It's increasing a lot. Yeah, we have a ridiculously high migration attraction, which is nice. Yeah, look at that. The Conservative parties won, unlike the UK general election, where they are about to get smashed. So without information. How you will. I'm actually going to input a logging camp because then we can just get hardwood, which is also very rare usually. We're good at making chairs. It's the one thing we know. Let's uh, pump up the government wages. There's literally nothing I can do to spend more money. I want to see what GDP per capita is actually still not the high, as high as it should be. All right, let's grab the next level of education. And I think what we're going to do now, it's, it's going to be expensive, but this is the only thing we can do with our money. Now we build the university. Just get everyone studying. Get, get them thinking. We need a lot of thinkers. What did our population start at? Like, I think it started at 90,000. I think we doubled in, like, what, four years? Our population? My God. Internal trade, too. What does that give us? Company throughput bonus. Tariffs on imports outside block. That's good for us because it means that um, our neighboring Germans will always buy from us. 10% infrastructure. Very good for us because we have only one state, remember? And convoy. Oh, actually, infrastructure. I didn't think about that. What's our infrastructure limit? Yeah, okay. So, what we need to start doing now after this is rush down railways. Huh. An anti country lobby. I don't want to do that. No, we're, we're, we're good lads. We're, we're playing tall. A coup? Oh boy. We'll fail if the landowners are not part of the government. I've got an idea. Let me see if we can figure out how to get rid of this coup. Guys, I fixed the coup. <laughs> Guys, guys, I fixed it. They're going to revolt. Nice. Company, though. So we can only establish these lot. Is there nothing? Well, screw it. I've worked something. Okay, we're going to go straight for sulfite pulping. It's the number seventh best paper mill. Wait, no, hang on. Yeah, it's the number seventh most paper, like productive paper mill in the world. Oh, we've gone down to number eight in furniture manufacturers. Got to pump these numbers up. I'm not doing... I'm not doing that. Not doing the closed borders. We need the people. Okay, I am actually gonna grab a construction sector. I think that'll help things. Go for an iron frame building as well. Okay, I'm getting atmospheric engine, which isn't gonna help us at all. Well, we're gonna need motor industries and then we're gonna need railways. We have 233,000 people. We have, what? Look at our GDP. Look at that. Started with 10k. Look at it now. See, now the other side of things are being used. We've got enough construction that the private sector is starting to do stuff. They're building rye farm, which kind of sucks. They'll have to shut those down immediately so we don't waste our populace in that. Okay. Universities cost me quite a lot. But that's okay. Worth it. Half a million GDP is not bad. It is dipping now because I think people are going to work in the rye farm. Yeah, they're leaving their jobs. <laughs> Stop working in the rye farms. Literally no need. Huh, okay. Hanover's getting taken by Prussia, it looks like. What's going on here? Oh, we gotta hope the Prussians win this. German leadership, conquer Austria, Styria, Moravia, or Austrian. We need the Prussians to win this. Or actually, a stalemate would be ideal. We should probably start getting people to pay taxes. Uh oh, that's not good. So, I could right now declare an interest over here in like Niger and colonize the Igbo over here. But I feel like that goes against the spirit of what I'm trying to do. So, I'm not gonna do it. As, as, as sort of nice as that would be. Get a little shortcut. Okay, the war's finished, which is nice. He's <laughs> Prussia's rivaled everyone. <laughs> okay. You've been embargoed by France and Austria. No wonder you're looking internally. You're about to get your ass kicked by everyone. 12 million GDP. So we are, what, 5% the way there? Oh, it's progress. Excellent. 
I can we still have radicals? Like, this is one of the better areas to live in the world. Still have radicals. Okay, so we're branching into two new industries. There are textiles and uh, tools, apparently. So my plan in getting engines and railways is that I've actually timed it to perfection. Because we're going to get the tech as we get. This is going to be fantastic. Watch this. Hey, okay, railways have been unlocked. And then the engines have been built. We're gonna build a railway there because we need one immediately. Where do I go from here? Electrical. Let's go electrical generation. Straight for it. Why not? Well, I need to probably clean out the rest of these. Is there anything that could help me immediately? Here, of suffrage could be pretty cool. Let's build a steel mill as well because I really want to be in tip top shape when it comes to self subsistence. Because here's the thing, right? We want everyone to be importing our goods. So we don't want to be importing anything ourselves. Generally speaking, we want to be exporting everything. Obviously, we, obviously that uh, there's a limit to what we can do here. Uh, in terms of resources, we literally just have wood, and and not that much. No, we don't. We don't have any more wood. There's only one. So I guess fishing. Works. Costa Rica's joined the British Empire. <laughs> nice. This isn't a split state. Oh, it is a split state with the Schleswig Holstein. Does that? I think that counts. If I go off the uh, Schleswig Holstein, I think that counts, man. As like. Is having to go after it but the, the issue is does that mean does that mean he's gonna oh god he'll trigger the north german confederation a german country must have resolved the schleswig holstein question so i kind of don't want to do it because that could be a problem looks like no one would join on either side i'm surprised the prussians wouldn't join on our side Let's improve relations with them you've rivaled sweden maybe we can get the swedes on board. everyone sees me as a potential friend hmm that's nice Okay, the progress party is one, which is actually a good pairing for us. Industrialist and intelligentsia, we can do some good work with that. Specifically, no migration control. Let's give it a shot. As I wanted them to, we've got a pro-country lobby for Schleswig. That's actually not good. I wanted the opposite. I misclicked that, and now I'm trying to play it off, to be honest. The nice thing about having such a centralized state is that I can use the railway to make things faster, like the, uh, the old logging camp. Roro boom. We want to do this. Anticipate the future. Let's try his industry. Hmm. I don't like the fact you did that. So we're all the way down here. And that's mainly because we don't have an army. We've got 800k though. So actually, we're better than Brunswick. We're on the same sort of scale as Saxburg Gothia. Where are they? That makes me feel a lot worse about myself. We have roughly the same population, but they have more GDP. In my defense, they do have... Yeah, like resources. That's a very good province. We've got nothing. Take a little bit of time. I've got to be a bit more patient than I have been. Whereas GDP is 4 million. That's our next target. I'm actually so mad about Saxburg Goth. It's the number one motor industry in the world. Mainly because I think no one else produces them. We produce more than Prussia. Okay, let's start. Let's start. I'm, I'm going to do something a bit radical. I'm going to start really going for explosives and for uh, engines. Because most nations don't build those. Techwise, we're in a really good place. We're going to go for steel railway cars. Ooh, no electricity generation first. Urbanized Lubeck has been completed. Yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> Surprised we hadn't done that before. Renovation's going well. And I'm just uh, continually building universities now. I think now's when we pull ahead. Lubeck political union. Sounds good to me. We'll start getting guaranteed liberties in place. Okay, so I haven't actually been recording for a while. I've been talking to myself in a room. Uh, I paused the recording earlier and never restarted it. Let me take you through what's happened. Right now, we have a population of about 1.8 million. Uh, we have 6.2 million GDP. Our GDP has been exponentially growing. We've got quite a high literacy rate. Any uh, Because of the amount of universities, we have a phenomenal amount of um, innovation, which has meant that our research has gone a little bit nuts. On top of that, I'm starting to try and export things that we produce to try and get the market, to try and get the market price up. Because right now, stuff like tools is kind of low. So we need to pump that up. Kind of as much as possible, really. So, as part of that, and bear in mind we have tariffs when we export. Um, and we don't trade internally. It's still, I think, worth it. A steam train, let's go do that. Steel. Huh, do that. Steel lot, whatever that is. Steel carriages. Let's have cargo ports. I'm going to build another port. Get as many convoys as possible and we're just gonna start sending out our goods now we've made it to minor power 
I'm actually not that far off of major power. And that's literally all from our GDP. Leading goods producer. We are the number one producer of electricity, glass, number two of ammunition, three of uh, engines, and three of explosive. Russia seems to not really be unifying. Which is nice. Oh, our income's dropped. This happens occasionally. We also have the second highest GDP per capita in the world. Currently sitting behind the Columbia district. But there's no other like actual nations on there apart from us. So as of right now, God, that's a lot of that's a lot of infamy. So as of right now, we've gone up a little bit here. Um, it's 174 instead of minus 200, so that's nice. Is at 27 million to our uh, 8 million. But we are the number one in our block. We've gone all the way up from being literally the last possible member. So I think it's time we create an army, as well. The navy, we've got the money for it. By the end of this year, we'll have ourselves. A standing army and a standing navy. Our prestige is right now 73. I think I might be able to push to be a major power here, you know. Like, we're down here next to Brazil. What's our GDP looking like in, in terms of... How do we stack up? We're almost at the level of Belgium. Despite that, they have five times our population. The reason I'm doing this, by the way, is because I want to take Holstein. I, I want to... Like, I think we're still sticking to the spirit of the challenge if we have a unified state. Yeah, we have no base resources. These are all the local prices in Lubeck. We have no resources. We've got nothing. Dyes are expensive, but I think after we get this next tech, we should be able to make those ourselves. Yeah, once we get this tech. There we go. Huh, we can actually invest in other areas. Weird. I'm not going to do that, though. Okay, now the requirements went up to 150 prestige. Okay. Are we at war? Why is there an artillery input shortage? That's true, actually. I need those as well. I don't think I actually... I don't think I have those yet. Okay, we do have arms industry. We don't have an uh, artillery one. So I'm building all, all the things that we need to be self-sufficient. As self-sufficient as, as, as the Hanseatic League, as we're going to call ourselves, can be. Because, frankly, we import a frightening amount of raw resources. Does Holstein have any raw resources? No, they're the same as us. Just logging camps and fishing. God, you'd much rather be living in this one than that, huh? There we go. Look at this. The issue is we can only produce dye or silk. So we're going to have to just go for dye. That's the issue when everything's stacked up in one uh, in one state. I maintain that instead of this, we should have a slider that, that modifies the goods. I don't know if that would break the game, but that is, I think, the absolute ideal when it comes to uh, Victoria 3. Because right now, I only have one state. I'm playing tall. If I decide I want silk, I have to get rid of my dyes completely. Same thing um, with, with other sort of industries. We're an import shortage of silk. They can grab it from the Chinese. Great Britain's guaranteeing our independence. Nice. Oh, we're getting close to that major power thing. I think we can do it now if we do this. I'll grade those to capital ships. Then put you guys out to steel holes. Yeah, look at that. We are the eighth ranked power in the world. <laughs> oh, man. We've got about half of the Prussian GDP. Uh, despite having 10% of the population. I, I, like, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So my plan now is to do the schleswig holstein question. Force Prussia into doing the the whole... Um, how do I say this? What? Damn, this is what I was going to do. Also, the French are back in them. This is going to be rough. Holhausen's gone communist. Okay. Always makes me feel good when the standard living turns into a hat. Makes me feel fancy, you know? I love the communist vanguard state of uh, the Holohosens. That GDP increase... Ridiculous. Our number one GDP per capita, we made it an 18th in total, but that's all gonna go to nothing if the if the French can't push through. They are pushing through quite nicely here. Nice they're pushing through. I know it's weird for us to support the, the French, but anything that damages the Prussian economy takes us one step closer to taking the power block. I think our populace are too educated. Bit of an issue. Because we're lacking laborers. Like over here, it'll say we have 540,000 job seekers. Only eight are unemployed. The rest are just people looking for jobs. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pursue the existing strategy we had of uh, exporting things valuable or not valuable. No market options. Okay, great. Why? Tunnel trade three. What does that do? Foreign investment. Foreign investment rights in power block members with lower rank. Okay, let's just start if, okay, I have money. And I have people working in the construction industry. Let's just start mass investing in others. Increase leverage from economic dependence. So if I make everyone else dependent on me, does that mean I can... So he, the Prussians in this case, can invest in everyone, but... Uh, can invest in everyone. We can invest in everyone but the Prussians. Yeah. Okay. 
At least we should be able to. Huh, maybe it's because we're at war? I don't know. Successfully completed the path. The liberalism. Lovely. Let's go full communist. Why not? Free exports. Uh, yeah, we need to export. Let's start getting myself some uh, mutual funds, I think. Adolf has appeared in Lubeck. Okay, Adolf Shree. We're good. Man of Wars. Uh, who cares about Man of Wars? My prestige becomes 315. We've become a great power. Oh, good. The, the Germans have discovered pan nationalism. Most of this stuff is from being a goods produce leader. I think I can increase by another 20%. We proceed from army projection. How much army projection do we have right now? 40. So we get another like 8. Right? Oh. A little bit more. Can't quite afford that though. We are building a, a much larger navy. Which is kind of a big part of our... We don't use it, but it's there. Okay, we're just under half his GDP now. Oh, I didn't even see the ad to release Pomerania and Danzig. Your funds been unlocked. Excellent. Time to maybe ruin my economy. Let's make our financial districts publicly traded. See what we can do with that. Okay, it's time to take our state. Conquer it in its entirety. Doesn't look like anyone's going to join in. Just us. That's nice. Get the prestige. Hell yeah. New Granada is supporting them. Why? <laughs> what did I do to you? Like Danish war operations. Is there anything else we want to do here? Liberate Schleswig? And there are bodies, I guess. Even though we have an anti schleswig league, because I thought this was Schleswig, which is not, it's Holstein. I just, yeah, I, I, want, I want access to our full state. That's the main reason I'm doing this. I don't think I need to do anything else. Alright, let's do it. Our troops are a lot better than theirs. That's what happens when you have money. Yeah, just crushing them. Excellent. We don't have that much population to spare. Well, we do have 4 million people, but all of them are employed. So the more people that um, are summoned to, to fight on the front lines, the, the worse it is for us. Yeah, this isn't even close. We're not exactly moving the front line. Okay, now we are. Is that the front done? Okay, I think that's the front done. So what I want to do now is naval invade Zealand. Make use of this navy of ours. Yeah, look at that. Fantastic. It's going to be the communists. Now we're good. Nothing... Nothing concerning that. I think we landed instantly. Okay, this is not close. They wanted to conquer Lubeck. You wanted, sorry, your GDP of 15 million, Denmark. Yours is three. You you wanted to 5x your, 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 2x, sorry. Three times your population and five times your uh, GDP. That would have been ridiculous. Who doesn't agree? No one agrees, but I have you completely occupied. You are at minus 100. Maybe we'll just propose it. We'll see what happens. So they accepted. Okay, I've realized what's happened here. They accepted because, like, support in return for being New Granada's, like, um, subject. Which is ridiculous. Okay, well. Summon the fleet. <laughs> We're invading the new world, boys. The issue is there is devastation in my home territory for this. Because we share a state. Which I think is frankly ridiculous. There we go, they've capitulated. And Lubeck now has our full state. So we didn't take the Schleswig side of Holstein, which I should have done, really, to do the German question, but... Mm, kind of happy with what I've got. Now, can I fight Prussia without them kicking me out? Because obviously they're a lot stronger than me, but I think I can get others, others in. And our troops are better. Like, a lot better. Ooh, prestige comes at least 340. We've become a great power. Means I think I can do that if I just do this. Look at that, we are now a great power. One province minor. But we're still a great power. I actually would, have, would accept less now. We can have dependence of, of Lubeck on Overlord. I don't think that's the case. He is, like, we're now, like, sort of, like, growing at a neck and neck pace because um, I've, I've stopped sort of attracting the sheer quantity of immigrants that I, that I got because a lot of them came from Prussia. Ah, excellent. Feminism. That's perfect for us. Mainly because that means that we can introduce women into the workforce, uh, and therefore our, uh, we will have more people to work, which is fantastic. Actually, so close to getting a higher prestige than them. That's why I'm pumping out troops. Hamburg offers to become our protectorate. Uh, yeah, that works for me. Becky investors made acquisitions of rye farms. Our, our, like, our populace is so rich, they are spreading out and, um, uh, yeah, we've got a lot going uh, going for us elsewhere. We've invested a lot. So I think we just, yeah, we've overtaken Prussia in terms of great, uh, great power. Okay, we, they just overtook us. It's getting close, though. Okay, I've come up with a new plan. 
we are going to dominate everyone around us within our block. All right, let's continue. I'm gonna go for Pomerania next. It's great because they're definitely gonna back down because they have no one. Ah, excellent, another one of these. Large numbers of Franco-Provencal -Proven people have been migrating from Switzerland to Lübeck. Gotten very lucky with a lot of these, which means we're gonna start summoning people from basically thin air. Because here's the thing, clicking this button, right, is going to request market control. So we'll have control of our own market. They're never gonna let us do that within their power block. So we're gonna take the power block from the inside, get everyone here, and then we're all gonna leave at once. <laughs> and I'll form my own power block. Huh, who's Sweden? Sure, sounds good. Issue is our navy and army is limited to 140 a piece. So, yeah. I'll, I'll give you a Gotland Treaty port in return for helping me out. I mean, actually, I should be fine, provided I don't land in Stockholm. I land in Norway. But yeah, I want Oldenburg. Well, I don't know why you have Oldenburg, but I want him. We Norwegian mill rep, the uh, war operations as well. Anti Prussian society has formed as a result of Prussia overtaking Lubeck in the top 10 prestige rankings. Damn! Back and forth. Where's he going? What is going on with you? Bouncing from place to place. Landing in Norway, fantastic decision, has to be said. I'm gonna need to upgrade our ports though. Because our boys are gonna suffer from this convoy attrition. Okay, we've discovered feminism. Perfect. Alright, and I'll accept. Brilliant. I've never actually used my strategic interests. I've not I've not even <laughs> I'm following that at all. So if you look at the local prices, we're lacking all primary goods. And we have a ton of secondary one. Ha, huh, here we go. You're power struggling for control of Zvolarizen. One out of 12 months. This means that you have at least 15% more prestige. If this continues for a total of 12 months, you'll become the new power block leader. Hell yeah. We've just got to maintain that prestige difference. Okay, well, there's one surefire way to do that. Build up a massive army. There we go. Oh, never wanted anything more. Free trade, freer labor. So 80 for being leader goods, producer, army product. Army, power projection, our tech, GDP, and then also the GDP of our subjects is, is kind of contributing to that as well. Come well. on, six out of twelve, please. It's just because he doesn't have a navy. Yeah, look, he doesn't have any any uh, naval projection. Come on, one more month. I don't know what day it is. Twelve out of twelve. So have I done it, or is it is it month twelve? I don't know. There we go. We did it. We are now the head. Oh, and it's now the Association of Syndicates. Oh, it's our trade league now. Let's go ahead and rival. The power struggle has succeeded. Lubeck, the city-state. Uh, sure. Sign some trade deals. Does that mean everything's my market? Lubeckian market. Oh, it is. Oh, our economy is about to boom. Everyone's improved relations with me. This is fantastic. I could expand it further. Okay, this police coordination thing I don't like. So what does internal trade versus external trade give us? So internal trade gives us company throughput, bonus, tariffs on imports and exports outside the power block versus this. Ooh, freedom of movement. That would help a lot actually for us. Okay, you know what, we're gonna try this. We're gonna open up the market. Switch it from internal trade to external. And it's immediately screwed over. <laughs> That's fine. But that is where we'll leave it for today, ladies and gentlemen. We have managed, as Lubeck, to claw our way to fifth-ranked power. Uh, a rather high GDP, uh, if I might say so myself. The higher GDP per capita. So a 96% literacy rate. And we managed to secure ourselves the second-largest power block. Um, or leadership of the second-largest power block. And that's ours now. <laughs> Oh, man. And this is... I'm actually quite liking the, the direction Victoria 3 is going in. I feel like I, I didn't do anything really militarily. I, I got grabbed a couple of nations here and there. But I'm now, having started one of the smallest or second smallest member of the power block, I took it over myself, um, which is fantastic. So if you did enjoy, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to my patrons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDAL52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click.